Good afternoon, Lloyd. All right, I just took a nap and got up, and uh, I want to thank you for resting me, and I want to thank you for the early morning uh, when I got uh, went shopping with me, and I uh, got the stuff I needed to get done. I got the light fixed. Uh, what else did we do? We got the uh, rolls put up, and uh, little chores around here done, and I thought it a good time for some more inspiration, Lloyd. Uh, some more of your words that you shared with the, the two women in 1932 in England. So let's see what we got. Let me do it. That's a good one. That's a good one for uh, what went on today. Okay. All right, and your words on let me do it with this, Lord. Never miss these times. It is not what I reveal to you so much as the linking up of your frail natures with the limitless divine powers already forces a set in motion. Only my will is coming to pass. And now God is blessing you very richly. You think that there is much to do in a crisis like this. There is only one thing to do. Link your lives unto the divine forces. And then, as it is, as it is, as is as much my work to see those lives and their affairs run in an orderly right manner as to see that tomorrow's sun rises. It is not passionate appeal that gains the divine ear so much as the quiet placing of the difficulty and worry in the divine hands. So trust and be no more afraid than a child would be who places his tangled skein of wool in the hands of a loving mother and then runs out to play, pleasing the mother more by its unquestioning confidence than if it went down on its knees and implored her help, which would pain her the rather, as it would imply she was not eager to help when help was needed. And a little Bible, Lord, for people who haven't got any yet today, from Luke 10, verse 39 and 42. Mary sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. Mary hath chosen that good part, which shall not be taken away from her. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Beautiful. So we need to let you do it, Lord. We certainly do. It is not passionate appeal that gains the divine ear, so much as the quiet placing of the difficulty and worry in the divine hands. Praise Jesus. What a great uh, inspiration. Okay, I'm going to get this up on the internet, and uh, Judy and I just had a little bit of stuffed quahog that we made, you helped us make the other day, and uh, we'd forgotten it was in the refrigerator. Judy likes those a lot. So we had that, and uh, I'm going to work on a little more music. I've already got one song done, and uh, I'm going to do a little more music and try to get another song done. And uh, I'll be back in now, Lord. Thanks for being in my life, Lord. Bye-bye.